Hey, this is Kasten, and this is the first episode of Kasten Tech. Just kind of want to see how this goes. Uh, but anyways, the first episode is going to be on disassembling a laptop, uh, more specifically an HP ZE4700 that's about two and a half years old. Uh, was made around 2005 or so. Anyways, um, well, I'll show you here. It's an HP. You can see the symbol there. Open it up. Take a look at the inside here. Um, you can see the keyboard and everything. If you see something that looks a lot really similar to this, uh, you can probably follow the video exactly. It has this kind of speaker here on the top. Uh, another thing to look at is the ports on the back. If these look real similar here, you know that's going to assemble almost identical to this one. Uh, this video is also going to apply to uh, some of the newer laptops out there, Sony's, Toshiba's, pretty much any other brand out there. Um, there's a lot of similarities. I'll kind of point those out as I'm disassembling it throughout the videos. Um, but anyways, the, mo the main point about really totally disassembling uh, a laptop like this in this case would be to get at the processor fan, uh, would be also to get at the processor itself, you need to replace the motherboard, you need to replace the keyboard, all those things will apply and will this uh, video will help you get into and uh, disassemble, disassemble the laptop to get those components that is. Um, anyways, the, what you won't need this video for is if you needed to get at the memory on this laptop or the hard drive or the wireless card because all those are really easily accessible with some panels here I can show you on the bottom. Uh, this one here uh, is where the memory is. Two screws right here, pop that off. That's easy enough to get the memory. Two screws here, pop that off. You can get the wireless card there. Um, and if you need to get the hard drive, two screws underneath these little pads will just uh, pop right out there. And you can get a, just take out the screws. Hard to just slides right out. Easy to replace there. So I'm not gonna not gonna go into that real in depth. But uh, anyways, um, well let's get uh, show you the tool list on here. It's really small anyways. So gonna kind of see how funny that is. You just disassemble this whole laptop piece by piece with two tools. All right. So here I just have a real basic uh, standard screwdriver set. They're a little bit smaller for uh, electronics and things. All I'm gonna need is just a uh, 2.0 millimeter a standard screwdriver right here. Just a regular flat tip here. So I need one of those. That's going to be mostly for prying uh, off some of the plastic and things to get it open. And we're also going to need uh, on this kit it says a number zero Phillips head screwdriver. And this is going to be rather small to take off uh, all the case screws and inside screws. So that's all we need out of this kit. So I'm just going to set this aside and we'll use this tray part here to put some of our screws so we don't get those lost. All right, as you can see here, I got the uh, laptop upside down, and uh, we're going to start uh, taking off all the bottom case screws here, and that'll kind of loosen things up. As you can see, they're kind of, uh, one's a little hidden in here. Some are not too far under the surface, kind of lined up all around uh, the uh, outside of the laptop, and uh, we're going to start disassembling those. There's also some rubber pads down here, as I mentioned before. So we'll start uh, by taking those off and setting these aside here. All right, also, we're going to want to take off the battery. Just pull this clip here, slides right out, set that off to the side. All right, let's get started on all the case screws here. Alright, we're also going to want to take out the hard drive here as well. Let's take off the two screws uh, on there as well. I'm going to take a pad off there. All right, and uh, just uh, take the hard drive, just slide that out. Set that off to the side here as well. Now there's uh, one screw kind of hidden down in here. I want to make sure we take that off as well. Alright, and then I had one trouble, one screw there, I'll we'll kind of shake that loose a little bit. There we go. Alright, now, I'm going to get some of these, uh, flip it over onto the back side, we'll get some of these screws up here. Alright, so uh, here we're now on the back. Now there's some screws we have to take off uh, along the uh, back here, there's six of them actually, so we'll just take those off here.
All right, now we got those loose. Now you can see the case is kind of starting to get a little loose, starting to come apart there. When that happens, now we can uh, flip it open here and we can start working away on the parts right here to pop off the uh, little speaker system here and we can get off the keyboard and things here. So that's where we're going to need our other tool, that secondary tool to pry up some of this plastic here. All right, the best way to go about doing this is to start here at the corner, right where this little uh, crack is here, and kind of push down in there, but be careful not to damage any of the plastic. We don't want anything to look bad uh, after we uh, kind of get in there and try to disassemble this. So kind of slowly kind of pry that up a little bit. I want to bend the screen down here and also pry on the little hinges here in the corner. All right, and you can see uh, this is just a uh, plastic part right here, so that can be easily uh, set to the side. No cables that are disconnect or anything. All right, now that we got that off, now we can start uh, working on some of the screws inside here. Get off the keyboard, remove these speakers here, and that way, once we remove those, then we can get rid of some screws underneath the keyboard here, so we can lift off this whole uh, top assembly with the touchpad and everything, and get at the real insides of this thing. All right, here we got a little more uh, zoomed in uh, spot on the uh, camera here. So that way we can see uh, all the screws here and I can show you how to disassemble this a little better. But first we're gonna have to access the speaker here. We'll take out those two screws here and here attaching it. There's a cable here and there's some screws along the side here we'll have to take apart and there's screws here on the side of the speaker here. So we'll start on those. Good idea uh, for this is to have a separate tray for these internal screws so we don't get those mixed up with the external screws. All right, as you can see here, we got some cable uh, attaching this uh, small board here uh, for the buttons and things. So well, the best thing to do is probably pull that straight out so we don't damage any of the small cables. And I'll set that off to the side here. All right, uh, now we got all the screws off on our keyboard here. Should be able to just uh, lift this up. And uh, it's gonna be small cable uh, right down underneath here on the keyboard uh, attaching the, to the motherboard here so we're just going to pull that off Let's see probably give you a lift off the plastic here all right set that aside all right uh, this is uh, just below the keyboard and things we took off here and uh, this is where the cable is connected for the keyboard. We're gonna take off two screws down here and also remove this little cable here for the touchpad uh, so we get that out of the way as well. All right, now it's starting to get a little loose here. As you can see. But first, before we do that, we're gonna have to take off uh, the screws right here on the hinges. There's gonna be three of them here and here, so I'll get started on removing those. All right, now we got uh, all those six screws off, three on each side. I'm gonna pull this up here, kind of get that little cable out of the way. Just kind of lift straight up off the case here. And you're going to want to push it forward here a little bit to get that cable a bit loose. All right, now just pull straight up all, show all the cables are straight, just pull straight up and that'll pop right out. Set the screen to the side. 